I heard you people were quarreling yesterday in the class. You turned my school to Market Square. Hmm? I don't mind this, this, this man. Oh, shut up your mouth! Shut up your mouth! He just came out from nowhere. He said he's a teacher. He cannot be professional. You are your teacher! Don't tell me teacher! You're a teacher! Don't tell me teacher! You're a teacher! Look at his attitude! You can't tell me how that's shit! Silent! So you don't have respect! After what you did yesterday! Now you still want to fight in my office? Masi, eh? I have the huge husband for you as the principal of this school. But there are some people you don't need to employ in this school. What there are some people you don't need to employ in this school. I am more professional than you. I'm 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 more professional than you. I've never shouted for anybody. Shut but... up! <laughs> Very good. I'm louder than I pass my neighbor generator without exhaust. Bam! Yeah. That's it. That is who you are. You. You won't keep quiet. Grease neck in the green grass. Yeah. Every week. You must one, one problem or the other. My dear bothering me in this. We do keep quiet. This man is a devilish, cunning, and very arrogant teacher. Oh my god. Came out from nowhere and said he's a professional teacher. Shouting up and down. Are you married? <laughs> no, are you married? <laughs> Mama, are we supposed to play people? Who is not married to teach them? What are they to teach them? What, what, are they are what is the outcome? Oh, this is your monkey coat. Will you allow me to rest? You that is married. Where has he gotten you to? Look at your head. Have you eaten today? Be careful! I want to hear exactly what happened yesterday. Starting with you, Mr. Azu. Thank you, my blood sister. You see? Oh, come, come. Sherekwa. Oko, who is your blood sister? <laughs> Sorry, ma. Uh, ma, you see, yesterday I was in the class. I was teaching the children. And they were all happy. They were learning very good. All of a sudden, this Lucifer appeared from nowhere and attacked me. Will you keep quiet? You a liar. Big liar! Did you just tell me to keep quiet? Exactly. You are mad then? You, you are very, very stupid. You're mad. Speak not for one hour. Not the hell out of you. This is your disrespect. You see where it goes. You are an idiot! I will, I will deal with you. You are foolish! We'll meet out you are selfish! I will deal with you. Jaja will teach you. Keep quiet! Keep quiet! You don't have respect. Sorry, ma. After what happened yesterday, you come here to still fight? In my office? Yeah, this time, so I'm disappointed. Sorry, my blood sister. You don't oh my god. You can't get blood sister again. <laughs> she didn't want to be told. No, no, no. Madam, don't mind this man. This is the most troublesome man. Keep it quiet. I didn't ask you. Keep quiet. <laughs> Mr. Azu, continue. Thank you, my blood sister. This man. Get back to blood sister. Because she didn't want to be Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. Uh, just like as I was saying, I was in the class. I was teaching these children the Bible. I was teaching them the story of Jonah. You, you, of course, everybody knows the story of Jonah. We all know how Jonah swallowed the fish. Hey! The fish swallowed Jonah. Dumb skull. My see? The most important thing that was swallowed. Whether Jonah swallowed fish or fish swallowed Jonah. They were swallowed. Wow, thank you, man. Oui, oui. My blood sister, you're welcome. Waka, chere. <laughs> chere blood. Chere water sister. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. I'm sorry, man. So as I was saying, I was teaching the students and they were learning very fast. All of a sudden, this music appeared from nowhere and attacked me. She nearly broke my head. Be quiet. You're such a liar. You are a Lucifer. The most funny thing is that you're so old for this. You are the devil's incarnate. Behave yourself. See, ma, excuse me. I will slap her. I'm not going to happen. I will slap her. I'm not going to stop. Miss Nicey. Is this what happened? That is not what happened. This man is turning the whole story upside down. Why can't we shut up your mouth? You're just a liar. You're looking at me, I'm looking at you. I'm talking nonsense with your mouth. You two, you're talking nonsense. Who is that man? I have an eyewitness. My students in the class have an eyewitness of what happened on that very day. Miss Tazo, I've not asked for eyes or nose witness. Exactly. So now, I'm not to talk. Please. I'm very sorry, ma. Ma, this is what happened. So I was teaching in the neighboring class. I started hearing voices. My, I mean, loud noise in the school premises. I figured it was Mr. Azu's class. He was taking them seriously and they were making noise. I went in there politely. I told him to keep it down. Few minutes later, they started again. And this time it was louder. I went there and told them to keep it down that this is a school. 
Before you know it, Miss Azu attacked me like a lion. Hey! Shut up your mouth! Shut up your mouth! Look at the one looking at you and you are talking out with your mouth! I am saying the truth! Look at you and you are lying with your mouth! But why would you lie to a lady like this? You should not want to to be your mother! Why would you lie? Can you behave yourself for once? You are the true definition of devil's incarnate! You are the devil's incarnate! Do you realize that we're in the principal's office? Ma, with due respect, permit me. Ma, ma, don't permit me to slap her! I'll slap her! Let me not lie again! I'll slap her out of you now! I'm not sure what happened! Slap me? You yes, shot you. man? You want to slap me? How do you intend to do that? No. You want to climb on top of the table and slap me? Have you ever seen a tall lady in your life? Of course I know you're short. <laughs> and your wife is short too. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. All right, guys. I think we are done with this lecture. Um, we'll meet in, we'll meet some other time. But I want you to read your holy books. I mean, read your holy Bible. Study very, very well. Remember to stay steady with your God. And uh, I love you all. Love you too, sir. Mr. Azu, are you done with this class? Uh, not really. I think we'll have one other... Uh, Mr. Eh? Please. Mr. Azul, you know how the next <laughs> period with them. But then I have to finish with them first. Please. I'll so I should wait them. for you. Yes, at least in the next 30 minutes I'll be done. Mr. Azul, don't keep a lady waiting. Um, guys, uh, let's go back to the story of King Solomon. We are, I believe you know about King Solomon. King Solomon is the offspring of King David. I mean, King David, the Bible recorded that King David the gods. King Solomon. Somebody say kingship. kingship. See, I want to advise you. Pray that kingship doesn't lack in your generation. Amen. You hear me? The Bible recorded that King Solomon is the richest man on earth. King Solomon is the... I mean, you can't compare King Solomon with anybody. King Solomon is, is so worthy. Yes? Was he richer than Dangote? Ah, uh, Dangote is a poor man where King Solomon is. <laughs> Who is Dangote? Who is Dangote? Honorary cement maker. Sir. If he's in Nigeria now, yes, he will just carry him. Yeah, he has a point. No, 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 he has a point. You see why I said this boy is so brilliant? Eh? So if it was in Nigeria, eh? yes, the DSS, everybody just, they attack him anyhow. Look, can someone say, I can't be poor? I can't be poor. Let's make that a prayer point. I can't be poor. 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 You're keeping me waiting. Do you realize that I'm a lady? But we are learning! I have a class! Do you want to take your time and also my time? Ah, you have started again. Mr. 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 Let me go then. You need to start. You have started again. Respect yourself! Respect yourself! Someone say, I can't be poor! 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 I Thank you guys, thank you guys. Please, we can't be poor. Um, first, I am very, very sorry. I'm sincerely sorry for that uh, breaking transmission. Of course, you know, I'm the most quiet man on earth. A man who has never shouted in his life. The most quiet and humble man on earth. But nobody will stop our vibe. Let's enjoy the book of our Bible story. We all know what happened to Solomon and how Solomon became rich. Somebody say, God appeared. Somebody say, God appeared. Now, go appear to Solomon and ask Solomon. Say, son, what do you want me to do for you? You understand? And Solomon said, he wants wisdom. And God said, because if asked for wisdom, I will give you everything on earth. That was how Solomon became rich. Oh. 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 Riches. I want to ask you, what if God appears today in your dream or anywhere and say, what do you want, son? Or what do you want, daughter? What will you ask God? Sir? Yes. I'll ask God for a black Rolls Royce Phantom. That's a good one. Sir? Yes? I'll ask God for a private jet. Yes? I'll ask God to give me a Korean husband. Come on, come on, will you shut up your mouth? <laughs> no, look at what I'm looking at you. You're talking nonsense with your mouth. <laughs> even your government is that is close to uh, one person. I'm not even after your husband. I'm asking yeah. for one husband. It's a child like you won't hold this age. You won't finish your this school. Let me hear that nonsense from you again. Yes, my blood brother. I'll ask God for two bags of rice. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what type of plane is you this? You said? 
I'll ask God for two bags of rice and two sachet tomatoes. Oh, oh my God! God. Ask something. So if God eventually appears to you, as foolish as you are, and I'm asking to request something from Him, you say you request one bag of rice and a sachet of tomato from God. Plus granite oil. Hey! <laughs> well, Mr. Azu, I have had enough. Your time here is up. This is my period! Why don't you stop that nonsense? Your time is up too! No, your time is up too! What kind of nonsense Mr. is that? Mr. Azu, I don't want problems today. As you can see, I am radiating in beauty. What makes you beauty? Mr. Azu, what makes you beauty for? Don't insult me. Come on, will you get Your out? time is up. Leave this class, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Leave this class. Are you touching me? I will send you You have to be class. very careful, and Mr. Azu. I am respecting you. What will happen? I cannot. No, throw away your respect. Throw away your respect. I don't want your respect. What will happen? What is your problem? Throw away your respect. Throw away your respect. You see, what happened? Did you and your wife drink something this morning before you came here? I won't open it. Because it looks like you're having it. I said, try it. Go! I said, try it. Go! I said, try it. I said, try it. I said, try it. You can't even go and speak! Madam! Madam! Do you have to punch yourself? You should have never been in this school and do that! You can't punch yourself! You can't even go and speak! 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 What is the problem? Why can't you allow me to read this book? No, you can't read this book! You can't read this book! This man is a terrible man! Yeah, you're a terrible man, idiot! You can't allow me to rest! Be careful! If you like me, I don't trouble you say you like me! I'm very sorry! I'm very sorry! Why are you troubling me? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Come on! What is this problem? Man, this woman is pulling me up and down! What is that? Azo! Miss Nicey! If you want to kill me, you will not, not, not allow me to rest! No, man, you should be talking to her arrest! No, you're not allowed to eat, no, you're not allowed to digest! No, you can't kill my job! Man, I'm prepared, talk to her arrest! You can't kill my job! You said the man in the school was to employ this non-entity as a teacher! Look at Janja Wu teacher! You so are a Janja Wu teacher! teacher. What are you doing to the children? What more are you doing to the children? You need, you need, you need you to be grounded. You are trying to let them know that when they grow up, they should not marry. No, that is why you're not married. No, that is why you're not married. Mr. Azu, you are married. Shut you up. You are far better than your wife. How? A hundred percent. Jesus. You know that, right? I've told you not to mention my wife. Ah, I, I will, will not mention your wife. Madam, I will not take this part. Mr. Azu, do you know what? I will mention my wife again. 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 All right, class. Uh, that will be all for today. I trust you guys had a very good knowledge of what we, you know, we just learned today. So maybe next time we'll be treating another interesting topic. Okay? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, thank you. Let it go. Mr. Zhu. I, I believe your time is up. Let me just have a meeting with my kinsmen. Time up? You just started, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Look, I have a meeting with my kinsmen. Just allow me to talk to them. Mr. Zhu, I just started this class. And this topic is very important. So maybe you can just wait for me. When I'm done, you can come in. Yeah. <sighs> Meeting with the Kingsman. Okay, class, let's continue on what we have today. Today, I'll be taking you all on election. Okay, class. Do you want to sit there? Yes, let me just wait for you. Okay, suit yourself. Focus! Now, the last time we had a Sorry. Excuse me? I'm, I'm still teaching. Waiting. But I'm still waiting for you. Then wait! Don't disturb me, this man. Okay, class. As we are saying... Thank God she has come. This stupid teacher, I thought she would not go. Um, alright class, I think today 
we're learning about uh, sin and forgiveness. Somebody repeat after me. Sin is a reproach. <laughs> I said sin is a... Where's <laughs> everybody? Okay, sir. All of them have gone home, sir. How? Uh, because school have closed. Jesus Christ. You, only, you are the only one in the class? Yes, sir. That is for you. Why are you giving me your food? Because it's good, sir. Why are you giving me a cold food? Because revenge is a dish best served cold. Dogs come. Next, on high school, we have class. the three arms of government the legislative, the executive, and the judiciary arm of government. First, let's talk about <laughs> the legislative arm of government. Now, this is the arm of government that is concerned for making laws. Secondly, we have the judiciary. This is the arm of government that is responsible for interpretation of laws. He's only to slow us back. Keep quiet. Keep going, please. Finally, we have the executive arm of government. This is the arm of government that is responsible for executing the law. Beautiful. Please clap for him. I'm impressed. Thanks for watching that episode of What's Class. Please come back here next Saturday to come and watch What's Class. And don't forget that yesterday we posted a video here. It is the Caretaker series. If you have not watched the Caretaker series, watch the Caretaker series right now. Please come to the comment section and tell us how you feel about this content. Let us know your thoughts on this content. Thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you, God bless you. We keep bringing content to you and we promise, we promise you that we will do everything in our power to keep you entertained and keep you laughing. Thank you so much. See you next Saturday with another episode of What's Class.